Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Healthspan. In our anti-aging journey, my wife and I are always looking for something that can help us to extend our health span. Before we incorporate anything new into our health protocol, we'll do our own research first. On top of the regular exercise, healthy diet, taking supplements, sleep and stress management, I have recently started using a device to check my metabolism in real time. For this, I'm using the Lumen device. It tells you whether you are burning carbs or fat as a way to check your metabolic flexibility. As well as tracking and analyzing your metabolic state, it also provides meal suggestions to, to help you improve your metabolic health. We found it fascinating and helpful. After I tried it for seven days, my wife has decided to get her own as well, and it's now on its way. In this video, I shall talk about why we decided to choose Lumen to help us live healthier, the science behind it, how to use the Lumen, and my first week's experience with the device. First off, what is metabolic flexibility? Our food can be one of three macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Of these, we normally use either carbohydrates or fats as fuel. Glucose, the end product of carbohydrate breakdown, is a quick burning fuel that your body can use for immediate energy needs and is generally the preferred fuel when available. Fats can also be burnt for energy. They are slower burning, though they have more energy per gram, nine kilocalories compared to four kilocalories for carbohydrates. They are also the main way our body stores energy for future use. Simply put, metabolic flexibility is the ability of your body to switch between burning carbs and fats depending on your needs. So why do we care about metabolic flexibility? Well, it has a number of benefits, including better weight management, improved mitochondrial health, reduced hunger, consistent energy levels throughout the day. On the other hand, if you're metabolically inflexible, your body will have a hard time switching from burning carbs to burning fats, even when there are fewer carbs and more fats available. This means that you'll be more likely to gain weight as the fat is stored rather than consumed, and once stored, it's difficult to burn off. So if we want to know how metabolically flexible we are, how can we test for it? One way is to check whether we are burning carbs or fats at any particular time and see when we are switching between them. To do this, we can check the respiratory quotient, or RQ. This is calculated from the ratio of carbon dioxide produced to oxygen consumed by the body. The value is different for fats and carbohydrates. An RQ of one, meaning one CO2 released for each oxygen consumed, indicates that carbohydrate is being burned, while an RQ of 0.7 indicates that fat is being burned. Normally, it requires a large machine in a lab called a respirometer to measure these values and calculate the respiratory quotient. But it can now be done with this small handheld device, the Lumen. The device calculates the respiratory quotient by measuring the amount of carbon dioxide in your breath. The algorithm takes into account your age, sex, and weight, as well as the ambient temperature and humidity. The Lumen device has been shown to be accurate in measuring the RQ and has been verified in a couple of clinical studies when compared to a lab-based measurement. One thing to note is the device needs to be calibrated for each person to give accurate measures. When you get started, you will need to install the app, which is available for iPhone or Android, and link it with your device. On the app, you'll be asked to fill in your personal data and also pick a goal from metabolic health, healthy weight loss, and fitness performance. My primary goal is to increase muscle mass, so I chose fitness performance. Within this broad goal, there are three options, improved endurance, improved body composition, and building muscle mass. I picked building muscle mass because although my muscle mass is okay now, it does decrease with age, and there is a strong correlation shown between lean mass and longevity and a concomitant importance of maintaining or building lean mass as we age. Let's have a look at how you take a reading with the device. I have the Lumen app open on my phone and I have the Lumen device. Now I start by picking what kind of check-in I'm going to record. In this case, I'm choosing a post-meal check-in and will go for snacks. I'm told to turn on my device, which I do, and it says, let's go. First, I need to breathe in for four seconds, keeping the green ball in the center of the circle. 
Now I need to hold my breath for 10 seconds. It's worth noting that to use the device, you need to be comfortably at rest. And then I need to exhale for six seconds, again, keeping the ball in the center of the circle. And then wait for your score. And here is the score showing that I have a score of four and I'm burning a mix of fats and carbs. One of the key times to check in is first thing in the morning before breakfast. At this point, you should be in fat burning mode having fasted overnight. I've noticed that sometimes I am at one in the morning, meaning I'm burning fat, which is great. But after a heavy carb meal the evening before, I have been still at a three or even a five, which is not good and has left me to move any carbs to earlier in the day. I'm still experimenting with this to get the best result and see what is really making the difference. Based on your goals and the morning check-in, the application offers you a meal plan divided up by the macros, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. You can also take readings before and after meals and log what you had for the meals. I find this very helpful in tracking my macros and particularly reminding me to have enough protein. Another great time to check in is before and after exercise. It may depend on your goals, but for me in building muscle, I think being in carbohydrate burning mode before exercise is best. If not, I can have a small snack to give me some immediate glucose. I think this will help me feel better and give me more energy during the workout. We are about optimization, and for this you need data. Am I metabolically flexible? Do I start the day burning fat? What impacts do my meals have? For example, I thought my breakfast, which is eggs, fish, and tomatoes, was very light on carbs and would leave me in fat burning mode. But I found that it didn't. Even if I start off at a one, I get a three after eating, meaning I've switched from burning fats to burning fats and carbs. I'm thinking what I want to do about this, but the answer might be that it's okay and to add more carbs in the morning and remove them from the evening. So we'll see. The device is very elegant, and it's great to have the immediate feedback about what fuel I'm burning at any particular time as an indicator of my metabolic health. The Lumen will give you a metabolic flexibility score, but it takes about two weeks of data before it can provide this, and I'm not there yet. I'm looking forward to seeing my score when it's available and what I can do to improve it. I'm happy to start this Lumen journey as a way to personalize my diet choice based on the science. My wife and I will report our experience a month later. So please stay tuned. <music>